Okay, this is James Hutton, and it is his um, unconformity that they base geology around, really. What I heard was he was called the father of modern geology. They claim here that he was one of the original founders of modern geology. However, I'm sorry, he was wrong. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to hurt anybody or make anybody feel bad, but the guy was wrong. Just like everything else, though, it's wrong, and it's never been revisited and this was his this was like I showed you before the sicker point which is um, his the reason he thinks everything twisted up and it all pushed up everything's based on this you know the tect tect uh, tectonic plate movements and the whole nine yards and I dispute every single word of geology now I don't know about the movement of the plates I'm not a hundred percent sure of that I can see this things happen in the, in the ocean ridges and so forth but I don't believe any of this. That none of that stuff is right. It's just not right. Okay, my friends, it's a bad, dark day for geology buffs that thought they were fully informed about geology because they had listened to James Hutton about old red sandstone and a sicker point over here, which he said eroded a gently sloping Devonian old red sandstone layers cap over a conglomerate layer and older, a vertically bedded a Silurian gray wacky rocks. Well, very interesting observations he made. However, they were completely wrong. Now, James Hutton is known as Hutton, it's a Hutton's unconformity right here. We're going to look at it in a minute. And unfortunately, it was totally wrong. And he's been credited with the father of modern geology, which is also totally wrong. Now, this is a sicker point. And this is the old red sandstone. And this is layered body, <laughs> it's creature's body. Now, at some point, this comes together and it's going to transition into tendons or whatnot. But let me show you what old red sandstone is. There's no sense in. And, um, and and going into sicker point too deeply, which I have already, and trust me, it is not what he states. And if you go around the edge over there, there are blood vessels that go in just like all the rest of them. So um, it's just completely wrong. Uh, I don't think this is sicker point. It, it might be, though. It, this is what they call gray wacky, the gray twisty stuff. And this is the muscle fibers that are, that are part of it. This was a creature's body. Now, let me show you some more, and then we'll go into the actual texture of the uh, red sandstone, uh, old red sandstone, because I'm going to show you something that is, well, I'll show you. Now, this is what they would call a layered intrusion. And you say, well, what is a layered intrusion? Layered means there's layers. Intrusion means it's not supposed to be where it is. And they have no reason and, and no way of explaining it other than they say, oh, it's some kind of geological layering. Well, yeah, it's a creature laid there and died. That is the structural components of muscles and the tendinous fibrils that run through the muscles just for the integrity. The muscles pinch it. They, uh, I can't remember, sarcomeres? Uh, yeah, sarcomeres, I think they call them. There's little bundles of pinching muscles in there. And, 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 um, and they're primarily made out of iron and uh, blood substances and, and red clay looking stuff like this. And then the white looking stuff is more of a um, a fabric-y, you know, like when you get that stuff in your meat, <laughs> it's hard to cut through, you know, that stuff. All right, now, let's go on to the next thing. All right, now, if you looked at old red sandstone close up, this is what it is. The reddish stuff is the plasma, um, iron oxides, the red iron oxides, and these chunks of these different little colored looking minerals inside here are um, different uh, different crystals and they're exactly like this right here if I can find it which I can and here it is they are exactly like this only these are f finer only and this is ex ex uh, uh, you know magnified these are the crystals that are in lungs and if you can see the, the little pathways running through there, yeah. all 
You see the little passageways running through there? That's all the different blood vessels. Oh, well, I mean, the, the passageways where the blood runs inside the lungs. And all of those crystals are the same looking crystals as those crystals. Right. And those crystals in blood carry around minerals with them. Uh, 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 you know, products. So put, put it that way. I don't know what they carry around. Some of them are going to carry around metals and gases and and nutrients and all kinds of things and that's what they do and there is thousands of combinations that these things are capable of making because of their specific chemistry it's it's very very interesting really to be perfectly honest very interesting but anyway that is the old red line phone james hutton was completely wrong hold on one second all right some more old red sandstone obviously that's flesh and it's again these are all layered intrusions I have no idea why this happened the sandstone that is regular sandstone that is eroded like piled up and sedimentary sandstone absolutely it's sandstone and, and the reason it's sand is because silicon is in your skin 50 times more dense in your skin than it is anywhere else in the rest of your body and that is what eroded in these in the giant flood and all of that silicon which is SI bonded to O2 and it became SiO to which is silicon dioxide which is sand case closed on that one all right here's the composition of elements that are in sandstone now you get your silicon and you, you got a lot of it in sandstone because the silicon is the eroded silicon and it bonds with dioxide o2 so silicon dioxide is in sandstone and then you don't have a whole lot of calcium, see? The green, you don't have much calcium. But then you go down into below, into your mudstone, and you don't have much silicon. Because you, now you're down in the clay, in the red, fleshy iron and clay. And, and, and um, you know, it is, it's dense with iron and um, dense, well, it has not dense, but it has a lot more, it's got a lot of aluminum, you see it? Well, skin has a lot of aluminum, too. Um, calcium is you got some calcium down in this area you've got uh, you know the iron and all that stuff and then you go down to the limestone because the mud is your mudstone is you is is your fleshy tissues below your skin areas right which is the sand and the silicon dioxides below that is your fleshy clays and then mixed in, in your organs and so forth they call that marl. And below that is your tendinous limestones, really, CaCO3, calcium carbonates, which are very, very tough and do not, do not go away. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's, that's the chemistry of mud fossils. Let me just give you a, let me show you this. All right, once again, I didn't do this. Somebody else put this up, and I am using it, but it's pretty official. Limestone is up here, CaCO3, as I'm talking about, calcium carbonates. And way, that's the tough stuff. That's way inside the body. Now, then you, um, we're going to go all the way down to the mud, so, which is your skin and, and stuff down here. So then you come down to slightly limestone, and then you go into the marrow, which is the organ area inside and all of this. In this area, you're going to have a lot of fascia and, and um, tendinous tissues and um, a lot of fascia because the body is all tied together with ligaments and tendons and fascia coats every organ and a cell and all that stuff. That's in there. Then you come up um, to your mudstone, which is your, or, you know, um, you know, like your your muscles and things like that, they turn into mud stone because they have fibers running through them and they have to, you know strength to them, but they are still mud. And then you get this slightly mud stone, and then you get really into mud, which is your the flesh on your very very outside. That's the well, they call it. Um, well, they used to call it are areolar tissue, which is the flap. It's the stuff you can move around on your, you know, your stuff that moves like that. And um, and that's the mud. <laughs> and that's the clay. He took a little bit of clay and he added it all again and ends up with this. 
And now I'm telling you, this, from what I'm seeing, there was a creator, and they made a create, and they created a clay, and the things grew to be gigantic, absolutely enormous, and now we have to deal with that. Because this is not something that just has no meaning whatsoever. It's just absolutely unbelievable the way it's being, um, being handled. Sorry about that. Okay, this is my friend Tyson and his wife Becky. They're out on the West Coast, up in Oregon, and they have some fabulous, fabulous discoveries. Now, I'm just going to show you briefly why I say biology and geology are the same thing, only one of them is hard and one of them is soft. Here goes. And Tyson is, fa is fabulous, absolutely fabulous. He's doing unbelievable work. Here goes. See this? Look at this. Look at this round hole, Roger. Look at this. This is an artery. I believe it's pinched off. Look, now, look at this. I mean, you know, think, just think about what you're seeing. And, and then think about what a geologist would tell you about this. See it? It's a round circle, and then look at this circle. That... Well, anyway, I'm not even going to discuss what I think it is or isn't. You think of what it is or isn't. You know the claims I've been making. You can see what Tyson's saying. Make your own decision. And, and, and well, anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to belittle or belabor or run this into the mud. All right, here goes. Circle here in the center. Huh? Or a hand. Or a hand been. See this? I think this is an artery. And see the pinchers pinched off? What do you think? Anyway, so that's what that is, I believe, in my opinion. Becky was just standing in. Did you see that circle right there? Uh, it's just crazy to think that this is... is um, I don't even know what they, how they explain this. I can explain it. Tyson can explain it. And I think you can explain it. All right, this is my good friend Tyson, who's a fabulous, fabulous Mud Falls University professor now. He used to be student, now he is a professor of a very high order, and he is in the middle of a, a creature that is just absolutely phenomenally gigantic. So, and I'm going to let him explain this one little clip, and then because uh, we got so much evidence, it's embarrassing at this point. It really is. It's absolutely amazing that we have to force it on people. So here goes. This is Tyson. Okay, we're way up inside this thing now. This side is that. It is oh, almost like a seam that runs down it. Now this is a cave. He's in a cave on the on the coast, right against the ocean, and I guess it floods during the high tides. And uh, the right-hand side is this type of material. Look at that. And the left-hand side is this type of material. Right. This, is, this is obviously biology. And these seams are different types of, of algae, yellow, green, brown, grow on different borders of different biological materials and membranes. Let me put it that way. And they're supposed to. They do in your body as well. That's why anytime you see this green, you, this is because it's supposed to be living in that zone. And they live on red blood primarily. Uh, but maybe they, maybe they're just living on the membranes. I think they're living on red blood, but it might be the red blood membrane. Because you see them in material. like this. You see this? Here. Look at that. But, you, but, but look at this. See, I know the red is absolutely phenomenal, and, and it's obviously biology. But I, I just picked up on that. It could be that they, they are living literally on the membrane but this side itself. Is totally different looking. Notice that. Look at this side. Look at that side. Yeah, there's, there's all, it separates, it, that seam separates it. All right, this could be a long video if I don't do something different here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's separate. Look above me. Look at this. <laughs> I love it when he gets excited. Ooh, ooh, see over here? Now you're going to see a different green over there because there's a different... See green here? You see white and yellow and green. This is the bacteria of a gut. This is some kind of gut 
bacteria reaction that's supposed to be living on these membranes. And that is what's happening in the body. If you're missing this green stuff, you're in trouble. Because that, that exudes a certain enzyme. I'd love to see what these things, this is fabulous. Tyson, you're, a, you're a, a, a genius, my friend. Look at this. That's above my head. Look at this, look at this. Look, see, see, look at the different colors. That is living on different biology, and a different biology wants that, and a different biology in your gut wants different bacteria, and it'll be different colors. Eureka! I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I had to document that. This is absolutely phenomenal. Tyson, absolutely amazing, bro. I am about to call you, and we got some talking to do. This is inside this sucker. Yeah, look at that. Tyson's Mud Fossil um, Adventures. And he's got a site out here that is just stunning. I'm looking, brother. I am looking. And this is just, a, it goes on and on and on. That's his wife, Becky. They go out together doing this stuff. Oh, 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 look at this. Look, look, this is deadly. This is so good. Where do you see this? Now, you see that thing right there? It looks like, <laughs> it looks like a, a flower. Let me tell you something. You see how it's like spewed out here and spewed out here and spewed out here and spewed out here. The whole thing is round like this. And it's black. That's vein blood. Vein blood, veins have clamps. And they clamp off like this. So the blood was coming this way. And it's supposed to clamp off. It can't go back this way. All right? Well, that came away. And it, it's, it's not supposed to come out. So it forced its way out almost like a cake, de cake decorating tube. You know, they squirt them out. They... <laughs> Because, and, and he's got one in here where I got to show it to you. You'll die with this one. Hold on. This is absolutely too much. Where do you see this? You look at all the red, red, and then you're going to see a vein valve over here. And it's a clamp. It clamps off just like a clamshell. And that's what happened on that other one. Watch this. One, I'll take look, a look, look at all the blood. Well, I'm, I'm believing this. We got this red in here. I don't know if you can see it, Roger. I'm believing this. Oh, I see it, brother. Now, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is stunning. And I think you can walk right up. It looks like somebody's shoes. It's 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 spewing out. I mean, like it's you know that's probably collected um, sea sand in it. But that is the valve, and this is the tube that it sits in, and it's supposed to block it from coming back this way. And it's opened up a little bit, and it's opened up like the other one did, and the other one squirted out like I don't know squirt. But um, Tyson's Mud Fossil uh, Adventures, very, very, very good guy. Surge. Anyway, okay. You see that? This is, he's out by the ocean. Look at all this stuff. You, you see this? Now, that is the kind of um, corpuscles, let's call them. They're, 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 yeah, let's call them corpuscles. They're little structures that line the walls of literally all tissues have have some form of a fabric design to them and a lot of times they're little cellular balls and membranes and, and Tyson's got all that stuff too he's got everything this is this is probably one of the best sites I've ever seen what, what he has because you know I was discussing with him you know we've been talking at length uh, about this and where he is on the west coast it's eroding against this uh, virtually carving into it like you were dissecting it in layers and, and he's walking into these tubes that are they're, they're um the ocean is digging them open for him and and exposing all this stuff absolutely phenomenal oh no i keep running my mouth i can't help it